Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a new report in the dashboard on HubSpot. Every business is different and every data has its own importance. When you first log into HubSpot, you're presented with a marketing dashboard. This brings together many of your important marketing analytics. Here, you'll get a quick glance at how your website is performing. There are quite a lot of reports shown here, but if you can't find what you're looking for, you can actually add them to your dashboard. The HubSpot dashboard is very versatile. You can freely edit the reports that you wish to see or not. You can also add a report if it is not there and this is what we'll be going through right now. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So after you log in to your HubSpot account, you should see the main dashboard. You can be in sales or marketing dashboard, whatever. If you can't find the report they are looking for, then create that report by clicking the orange Add Report button located in the upper left. It will then take you to the report library. Click the custom report button on the upper right. You will then be directed to the report builder. To start making a report, click the object type drop down and select the type of report that you need. There will be another drop down that would show up. Just click it and choose what is appropriate for your needs. It is up to you if you wanted to add an additional filter to make your reports more accurate and more detailed. Just click the Add Filter link. Name your report. Make sure that you name it to something that your employees can easily recognize. Once you're all done reviewing the report, click the Save button on the upper right. A window will pop up and choose where you want to add this report. Click the Save button to confirm it. You should see the report that you have created after the last report at the bottom. When you hover your mouse on the report, you should see an action drop down. You can click it and select remove if you want to remove that report. So that is how you create a new report in the dashboard on HubSpot. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!